I open up this video and I skip two minutes and I was like, Scarab Lord video, what the fuck? Like, Scarab Lord was like 10 months ago. But no, this guy made a fucking, this guy made a fucking Scarab Lord video. Barney uh, makes good videos, we're gonna watch this. And I guess it's part of a series. I think we have probably seen the old ones, but it's been like months ago and I kind of forget. Bug Brain and Boomkins. We'll see how this goes. This video is sponsored by Displate. Display poggers. <clears throat> uh, yep. Scareboard AK40 opening event. So, uh, one of the more hardcore goals we have for vanilla is we want to have the most, the most scareboards in the world. world, world. The most scareboards in the world. Yo, back in my day, we did three accidentally. Like we were only gonna do one. We finished one, we're like, yo, this shit's so fucking easy. Let's just do another one. Yo, we did two. Um Yeah, yeah, let's let's do three. We 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 accidentally grinded three of these things. We're like, hmm, should we do a fourth? Ah, fuck it, we're done. Okay. Let's play this. Let's play this. Dude, like, Europeans are always out here saying America doesn't have any culture. America has no culture. This kind of mute, like, in Europe, can you play this music and fuck your cousin? No. The answer is no. In America, you can. That's kind of shit I'm talking about. No, you cannot. America invented culture? Yeah, true. Like, that's actually one of the truest things. Like, let me give you an example, okay? America invented a food, it's called hamburgers. It's the best food in the world. Some Germans, they, they, like, it's typical European bullshit, dude. They, they, they copied our food and named one of their fucking towns after the food we invented. Like, the fuck is, did, another example. We, we had a state called New England. It's, it's one of our states. And you, like you guys over there, you named an entire fucking country after it. You just took the name and, na and named one of your fucking countries out. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? It doesn't make any sense. Dude, duck play five subs. Thank you. Good morning, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. <laughs> it's just a dream. Thank you. That was months ago. What day is Ooh. it? 2021? 2021? Well, you know what they say, another year, another video. <laughs> I feel like I'm forever apologizing for taking so long to make content, but um, I play World of Warcraft Classic for the PC. I don't get to have free time. What, you thought making content was my job and I should prioritize that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, then I realized to make good WoW content, you have to go all in. <laughs> Uh, keep it in the video. <laughs> that's true. No, that's true. Like, this is p something you guys understand. Making WoW content is probably one of the hardest jobs in the world. And so any anytime you see someone who makes WoW content, you should uh, give them money. A lot. You give them a lot of money. That's what you should do. <laughs> I don't care. I've lost my fucking mind at this point. Do you know how long I spend farming consumes yeah. just so I can efficiently raid log uh, to edit, right? <laughs> to, I, I raid log uh, to edit, right? Wrong yeah. to level several raiding alts so I can be as useful as possible in the Burning Crusade that we wow. don't even know is coming out yet, by the way. You see, to secure the content of the future, I have to grind in the now. And I'm not going to get Glaives of Azanoth just by virtue of playing a rogue and being a content creator. My guild operates on a very strict merit-based system. Forrester! Honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way because it feels good to earn. Forcer, thank you, dude. Game. Crazy concept, I know. Ironic, thank you. Is it not thank you. Good morning. World of Warcraft has become my true job, and making content is just what I do for fun in my free time. Being a content creator truly is a joker's trick, uh, a monkey's poor wish. You think you want it, but you don't. Speaking of having no free time, do you know what I did on Christmas Day? Killed how many bugs? It's been like what, 16 hours. One day in four inches. This series is a mess. Wait, he was farming. Wait, he was farming bugs on Christmas. Motherfucker, this raid came out in August. <laughs> wait, didn't it? What the fuck? How- wait. Oh, no, my bad, necrotic- <laughs> Necrotic, I misheard. <laughs> necrotic runes. My bad, my bad. 
Why are you ignoring it by editing this? No one wants to hear about the Welcome. My bad. To my bad. My bad. Nax is out. My bad. Got a ring in there last night. Wait, Nax is out. Nax out. Nax is out. Nax is out. Dude, I gotta show you. Weird. There's a weird flex. Hey, look at this. I, I'm gonna pause. Look at this. Hold up. Wait. I have seven of my nine pieces from my play card set because I have the gloves. I haven't made the gloves yet. I actually have the glove token. I am only missing tier three pants. I actually ha do have the gloves. I'm missing one piece. <gasps> you know, in retail, well, there's a little tip for you guys. In, re in Shadowlands, the only piece of tier three you can't buy on the black market auction house, I believe, is the tier three ring. Because all the other pieces are for transmog. The ring you can't transmog. So if anyone in, 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 in retail well has a tier three ring, it's because they're a fucking gamer. They went fucking gamer mode. So going forward, listen, who knows? Classic vanilla might progress 15 years from now all the way into classic Shadowlands. You, we, we might go all the way there, full cycle, okay? Save the ring. You might get a you, you you might you might be able to use it to get a gamer girl girlfriend someday. <laughs> yes, Nax is out. If you got the rep to get in. Naturally, I'm exalted. My 72 runs of strat home to get Shadowcraft pants speak for themselves. My Wish I could tell God. you that was my worst item grind, but I suffered oh. through 206 full upper Blackrock Spire runs before I even saw a Shadowcraft chest drop. A fate that is statistically improbable, but I have the proof and, well, unlikelier things have happened. In upper Blackrock Spire... You know what's crazy, man? I remember playing vanilla. So here's the thing, okay? Listen, hey, during this video, I'm gonna try to make a point of pausing every 15 seconds because I there I have no content, and that's just the that's just the that's just the truth. That's just the fucking reality. Maybe we can do some arena later, but it is what it is, okay? It's gonna be like a six hour long video. We know. Well, it's like if you, if you watch every day, you know, because it's this is the same problem every day, like. There's a reason why I took the last four days off. I just had nothing to do. I just had nothing to say. Like, it, it, t it took me... The thing was, it took me four days off to come up with this plan. Which is, watch Barney's video and pause every 15 seconds. And complain about having nothing to do. Th this is the four-day brainchild of me, of me taking time off, okay? So th this is just where we are. So that, you, know, you gotta appreciate it. Now, I was gonna say, I remember, dude, I remember being a kid... I'm like 11 years old playing vanilla WoW. Dude, this shit, the rent, the rent black hand, this gauntlet here. Yo, this shit was so fucking hard. Like, we, we were, we were like barely making it through. Like, we were like fucking wiping the healers. Oom. Um. This event here was the hardest fucking thing in any video game ever fucking made in the year two, in the year 2006. This shit was fucking brutal, dude. <clears throat> dude. The sexual tension between <clears throat> Rend and Nefarian is Ooh. awkward, and the loot you need seems to never drop. What could be nice. worse? Oh, right. Blizzard introducing spell upgrade books in this patch that only drop from here. <laughs> I have to go back. Why? With this patch, we also well, received an array of right? new quests, know. which is just classic talk for elaborate vendoring. See, these quests <clears throat> aren't actually real. This is just tier piece vendoring drip, before Blizzard figured out how to code this. However, these quests outside have something very, very important that we're going to need. The Argent Dawn Tabard. Sorry, Ooh, I mean consecrated I got that. sharpening stones. But I am gonna pick up that tabard too, because it's fucking this. Consecrated sharpening stones give plus one hundred attack power against undead for one hour, making instant poison pretty much obsolete in Naxxramas except on the Fair Lena and Myxna fights, because they're not undead. By the way, rogues on Myxna, you can vanish the web spray, so go go get that ninety nine. Because they're so strong in Nax I feel like it's probably harder to vanish the web spray with the smaller batch window. Rogue, say hey, is that true? That that sounds like some fucking batch bullshit, dude. White Wizard, twelve months. Thank you very much. Twelve months. Ooga booga. Thank you. Next Ramus. I'm Thank going you. to want a lot of these sharpening <clears throat> stones. Uh, about three per week until classic ends. So I don't know. Let's call that like six months tops. That's like seventy-two stones. But then I also need to factor in. I'm gonna Ooh. want these stones in Burning Crusade for some bosses that we don't even know is coming out yet. By the way, I'll be clearing True. those bosses once per week every week since they come out until the end of TVC's life cycle. So that's a lot of stones. But one single consecrated sharpening 
Shining Stone costs eight necrotic runes. And there's only one place to get necrotic runes. Everyone needs them, everyone's grinding for them, and they're only around for a limited time because, of course, they are. Welcome to yet another virtual hell resource war curated and designed by Blizzard Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the grind. But it's not the grind people want to see. People want to hear about the bug family looking through 300 hours of footage. Multiple times, by the way. You gotta edit that. You gotta do it now. No one wants to hear about necrotic runes. I'm gonna be honest, like, when when this was out, like, farming the Necronic Runes and all that shit, like, it, I, this is one of those things, I was like, fuck that shit. I got the Tabard. I, I didn't do anything else. Like, I, I, I know, like, who here has, like, a huge stockpile of these weapon oils and all that? I was like, fuck that. Fuck that shit, dude. Who Maybe cares? they want to hear about this plate, which is uh, this video sponsor. They do look good on my wall. Every couple of hours, wow. a random invasion will begin somewhere on Azeroth, signified by a purple skull on the map and giant floating ziggurats yep. appearing in the sky somewhere within that zone. True. If you follow one of the necrotic bolts fired from the ziggurat, you will uncover a horde of ghosts and ghouls protecting a necrotic shard. These mobs can drop single necrotic runes, but the real reason we're here to kill them is to weaken the shard. Because once you weaken the shard enough, four dudes will teleport down from the ziggurat and attempt to repair it. Oh using eight necrotic Necrotic runes, you can curse one of these dudes and turn him into an elite shadow of doom. These dudes fucking slap, by the way. But this is what you came here for, because these elites drop a guaranteed 30 necrotic runes. Now, I could have busted my balls for days, wow. maybe even weeks, fighting against players of both factions for some necrotic runes, but when I heard my friend only got 34 necrotic runes in one day due to the sheer congestion and griefing, I had flashbacks to... Barney, you get it? That's your time. Nope, I'm fucking dead. Haha. -ha. Uh, something. And was like, yeah, fuck that. There's got to be a better way. At first, I thought that better way would be to just farm at 4.11 a.m. on a weekday. But it turns out even if you are lucky enough to get a shard to yourself, which I cannot stress to you enough just how rare that is, you still need a group to help you. A group that is also going to need necrotic runes and a group that is also probably going to be of a suboptimal setup because it's 4.11 a.m. on a weekday. It took us Three. about one hour to clear this shard and I walked away with 124 necrotic runes. That converts to only 15 sharpening stones, and it will now be three hours before another invasion starts. By then, all the dads will be awake, so uh, this is likely as good as it gets. There has to be a better- I just wanna- I just wanna this out. He fears the dad gamers. The no-lives, they fear the dad gamers. They're scared of the dad gamers. Like, he- like, listen to what I said. He's playing the game, when the dad gamers let him play the game. When the dad gamers are sleeping, then he comes in and gets the scraps. The dad gamers yeah, was built different, man. That's what it is. That's the way. Now that That's better true. way wasn't death rolling this warrior for his last seven gold, which he needed to spend on repairs, but I did it anyway. No, the better way was in fact something so obvious I was surprised I didn't think of it sooner. All I actually had to do was just wait. One whole month to be exact until Christmas Day 2020. When everyone else was offline spending potentially life-threatening quality time with their loved ones, Red Spawn and I came in and cleaned house. Whoa. Whoa! They're ruining it up! Yeah, they got fucked. And that's how I farm 200 carapace fragments. I mean, sharpening stone. Wait, what the fuck? What's wrong with my inventory? Wait, this isn't a shower. Where the fuck am I? What's going on? Ah, fuck. Ow. <laughs> Ow. You right? No, I just fell asleep and <laughs> I hit my head on my mic. <laughs> oh my god, it's only day. What's that? Next Ramus? Necrotic runes? What the fuck are you talking about? We're here farming bugs. Like, you have no idea what's going on, do you? I'm gonna catch you up to speed. After Baristolf's permanent resurrection at the hands of the No Changes team, the Horde and the Alliance began warring for the most precious resource of all. Territory. After all, he who owns the territory owns the farm within it. This year? This was actually the highlight of Classic. This, like, this was the best week of Classic WoW that there ever was. This, this was the best, in fact, this was like the best seven days of gaming in my, in my entire life. Whew, close. Like, it may, it may be, this was some good shit. This was some good shit. The, the collusion. Yo, the fucking PvP. Oh, the griefing. 
Oh, that was good shit. Are you picking up what I'm putting down, son? As the hours passed and the many battles waged on, the territory balance shifted like so. Somewhere along the way, guilds of all sizes and creeds began to put aside their super serious dramas sick. to band together under one banner for the horde. This was, at least for now, not just a guild versus guild affair, but rather an all-out faction war, and childish infighting was going to have to be put on hold if we were going to get some farm. And so, a natural ecosystem settled in. Above ground, PvP teams would patrol to keep the alliance out, allowing the farmers below ground to safely acquire fragments. As someone who spent Man, quite a few hours fun. of time doing both, I can attest to you personally that during these hours, it truly felt like I was fighting alongside the horde as a faction. It really felt like I was, like, actually a guy in the horde. Like, fighting in a, in a real <laughs> war. Dude, if, if there's ever Classic Fresh, like, I I, I would just, like, uh, of course I would not get Scareboard again. Uh, again, I would just, my entire focus for the Bug Wars and the war effort would be to lead a fucking PvP Elite Strike Force and just go and fuck people in the ass all day, non-stop, fucking people in the ass. And then to make it more fun, like, you'd, you'd, you'd set up one alliance and then, like, 90 minutes later, you just fucking backstab them. You make a new alliance, they think you're their homies, boom, fucking backstab them. You're back with the first team. You backstab- you're just going, you're like, oh, dude, the drama was so good. It was so hilarious. Sounds so lame, but it was so fucking cool. I might not be very good at world PvP, but I sure as heck like to participate anyway. Oh. Just don't let me catch you alone in Stormwind. <laughs> God, I fucking love being old. Ow! This system of holding mass territory as a faction had proven to be quite successful, and after a while, the large-scale fights seemed to die down. The Horde, whilst very condensely packed, had their territory in Hive Zora, and the Alliance, whilst not exactly working together as one unit, had their territories in Hive Ashy and Hive Regal. As a full moon rose and the evening settled in, a calm finally swept across Silithus, and for just a brief moment, there was no fighting, there was no drama, no bad vibes, it was- I don't know if I told you guys this, on Feralina, there was some guy out there, it was like for three days during the bug wars. I just go check on him sometimes. There was a guy down there trying to do the fucking hunter quest. Like the, the for the for the fucking weapon for the bow. This guy's like out there during the war effort for three days. Just like every time I'm there, he's just trying to do this. It, I, I don't think he ever fucking finished. Like, like, what the fuck are you doing, man? It's just guys being dudes hanging out, killing some fucking bugs. <laughs> and then he appeared. The one who would put this tenuous horde pack to the test. Cloaked in a mantle of feathers, brandishing a mallet, scorched by the sun itself, he descended from the cosmic realms. Ooh. The sage of the six moons. Ooh. His teachings rang out in the general chat, imparting a most forbidden technique to all druids. A highly illegal moonfire scroll wheel macro that can tag mobs on frame one. I'm pretty I'm sure people actually got banned for using this, by the way. With this, the druids would have power to- No one got banned. Like, like we, we, we were using this technology. Everyone was using this technology. Hunters were doing the trap thing. Druids were doing the druid thing. You know, I, was doing, I was doing the pet thing. I would park my Voidwalker directly on top of the spawn. I would have a timer. And then also I would have a Shadowburn macro. So I would spam my macro during the spawn window of the bug. And it would be pet attack. Like pet attack nearest target and Shadowburn. And I would sp sit there and fucking scroll wheel spam that shit so fucking bad. Dude, I'm telling you, okay? It was like I was trying to rub, fucking rub a, rub a, rub a fucking... I was gonna, I was gonna make a clitoris joke, but it's not. I was, it was my mouse wheel, okay? I was, I was, th this, see this? This fucking me, dude. This is, this is me getting fucking scareboard. This is all it took. People say, how'd you do it? Stay safe? This is how I'll show them. This ain't fucking... That's how. That's how I fucking did it. Okay? To completely mm. disrupt the emergent great. ebb and flow of Hive Zora. <laughs> Why be cordial with your fellow faction member and let him have that farm when he literally cannot stop you from tagging it before him? <laughs> But true balanced druids they were not, and what had taken the horde hours to build up in mere minutes was destroyed forever. Ooh. So now we had a bunch of druids running rampant below ground, tagging literally every mob on spawn and pissing everybody off. Oh no! It also didn't help that the druids responsible for this just so happened to be in guilds who had already gained a reputation over the course of the day for farming in the hives whilst not having proper PvP representation outside, essentially yep. freeloading. And let me tell you, when you're on your 17th consecutive hour of PvPing the Alliance to keep people safe who are in return just stomping Ooh. all over your goodwill, you start to realize that the enemy might not necessarily have a red name. The enemy might actually actually just be certain guilds within your own faction for what is an enemy if Oh... How do you deal with this? Can anyone think of a way 
what do you do about this man what like hmm can anyone come up with a solution How, what what would you do about this not someone going out of their way to oh. hinder your goals this realization came to be known as the people's brief awakening countless memes on the grubulous subreddit began circulating at this dude there uh, I had to delete all of my clips because of the bullshit Twitch fucking DMCA situation. But there's there's such a funny clip. Like, I'm sitting there in the back of a hive waiting for bug respawns. And there's an Alliance mage who's been sitting there griefing me. Like, I'm Alliance. He's Alliance. He's trying to steal my tags. And so I'll be honest with you, I phoned it in. Shh. Execute order 66. I phoned that shit in, okay? And so I'm sitting there. I... I, I, I you know, I, 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 I sent a Discord DM or two, okay? And so I'm chilling there, and uh, these, like, the, like literally 10 Horde players come in. And I was like, <laughs> I'm on stream, I'm like, no, don't kill it. No, Horde, stop, stop that. <laughs> and they kill this mage. <laughs> And they, and they just leave like 10 of them in, kill them. <laughs> it was so I'm disparaging the rat way of life whilst praising those who had previously struck a fair balance between fighting and farming. Yeah. These memes, whilst very funny, world of rat. Rat. <laughs> Unfortunately, did very little to dissuade the druids from their path. No, you can't just steal our tags by using an instant target and cast macro. Uh -huh. Scroll will go. <laughs> And at this point, most people had realized the grim reality that even if the druids were to stop, it was too little too late. The damage was done. Bad mm -hmm. blood was already boiling, reputations had begun to form, and the once proud horde pact was slowly falling apart. <laughs> All according to plan. I didn't just spend the last 17 hours merely PvPing and killing bugs, no. I was also sneaking around with my rogue crew, keeping tabs Ooh. on everything and everyone. I mean, it's literally my job to document this event, right? So by extension, I need to know which guilds are where, their rough numbers, their PvP prowess, Killing. their allegiances, their enemies, everything. And as the battles waged on and I harvested this data in secrecy, I started to realize something. The trick to the Alliance's strength, the reason they were able to hold twice as much territory as us. It was just a numbers game. A numbers game with a huge flaw. You see, the Alliance didn't have bigger guilds or better guilds, they what, just they had have? more guilds. But if these guilds were to start distrusting each other, if those guilds were to stop working together, well, that would be most favorable to Final Boss, a guild no other guild can possibly stand alone against. So I admit it. It was me that summoned the Sage of the Six Moons. Why did I do it? Because after years of baiting a rise out of public server admins on GTA 5 and Gary's mod, I'm so Sort of like the deprived mind whisperer. Well, because you're a fucking low IQ nu fucking numbnuts. Talking to you is like talking to a fucking brick wall. You're in my <laughs> ear invading my brain and lowering my IQ. Why don't you shut the fuck up for a change and actually use your lukewarm IQ to <laughs> Luke realize warm. what you've done here and how you are fucking fail. And I know druid players to be the most deprived minds of all. They try to heal only to be out healed by everyone else. They try to tank only to be told. Like. If, if, if the GTA RP streams were like this, I would probably watch them. But I flip on a GTA RP stream, and it's just a, it's just a bunch of people trying to suck each other's dick for Twitch clout. Like, it, like they're just trying to farm clips and, like, get each other's viewers. It, they're, they're all too fucking nice. Like, it's all, it's all too, like, you, you need some toxic motherfuckers, man, to make it funny. They're trolling yeah, and to re-roll warrior. They try to melee DPS only to be told they're trolling and to re-roll warrior. And God can only help you if you're trying to play a boomkin. Dude, when, when <laughs> this is actually fucked up. When I was like 17, 18, I would I would log into Arma 2 servers. And if you don't know what Arma 2 is, Arma 2, it's the game that the original DayZ was made on. And it's a military, it's like a tactical military simulator where people will log in and they'll like simulate military excursion. It's yeah, yeah, like they'll do like, and so you have a bunch of like retired, uh, like actual like servicemen, like actual like ex-military people that play this game just to have fun. And they like LARP with each other. All right, tack on Delta Vector 5. Like, like they're like, they're doing some real army shit. Like they're doing some real military shit. Like they're using the words and they're like, like they're take, like they take this game so fucking seriously, these guys. Okay. And so, I used I used to like log in these servers, and I would just like, I, I would just, I would just fuck everything up. Like I would get in the helicopter, and I would like accidentally drop a grenade. And be like, uh, we have an accidental uh, grenade discharge in the helicopter, <laughs> and like the helicopter would just explode midair. Or like I would just like, oh man, dude. It, 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 
Dude, that shit was so fun. And, like, they would just rage the fuck out, man. Like, probably to this day, my account is probably banned from all those servers still. Wow, oh, man. Inside the mind of every druid that is a complacent, so beaten down, <clears throat> pathetic loser who only knows how to take orders. To be a druid is to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. And when you're a master of none, you should probably just reroll warrior. So, when a druid. That's not true. If you are a druid, you are a master of jerking off to furry porn. It is finally offered not only a way to they be are useful, a master but something. a way to unquestionably become the dominant class in a scenario. I knew they simply wouldn't be able to resist. I orchestrated the Great Druid Uprising, and I did it to sow chaos. Sure, the Horde Pact was dismantled in the process, but more importantly, so was the Alliances. And that was the plan all along. Quick fact check. The Alliance have more territory. The Alliance have more guilds. The Alliance have more numbers. The Alliance have more druids. I can only imagine the levels of griefing the Alliance were suffering through these hours. So now was the perfect time to strike, and Hive Regal coveted for its higher drop. Dude, it doesn't even have to be a druid, right? It, it could be a warlock with Shadowburn. It could be a mage with Scorch. It could be a hunt. Like there, there were a lot of ways that you could get these tags off, right? Operates was our prime target. I'm pretty like you even had warriors uh, that were sitting there spamming like I don't know like well like an auto attack macro or something I don't even I don't fuck like you could be a shaman yeah there's a lot I could do yeah everyone that can hear my voice is abandoning their current position and you will move at that time everybody will group up at 3780 is this for a regal push. Yes. I think it's time we let these fucking rats drown. Leaving Hive Zora completely open to attack from yes. the north, my guild consolidated their numbers at a secret location alongside every other true and noble guild left. We were going to hit the now weakened alliance with the full Good force Fox Sample, thank you, man. Good morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the last you. 24 hours, Silithus had been the stage Bruh. to many large and small scale PvP skirmishes, but nothing would compare to the raid on Hive Regal. doing it. The raid on Hyvergal had been a complete success. Such a success, in fact, that for the next 24 hours, nothing else of note happened. Or maybe it did. I wouldn't know. I was in this room the whole time farming oh bugs. My, my only contact with the outside world during these hours was through general chat, but because humans aren't designed to sit in front of a screen for 58 hours at a time killing virtual bugs for clout in a 15-year-old video game, general chat was even more general chat than- I don't- I don't know. Like, I- I, I feel like doing that's pretty badass. Right? I don't know. I, I feel I feel like some humans were designed to do that. Usual. The populace in their delirium were all suffering from Something a mass hallucination known only as Snake Min, a deity-like figure who doesn't seem to have any certain law or single point of origin that I could place. He exists only in the delirious scrollings of those who have contracted. It's called autism. Yeah, I I, I don't know. Like, I actually I'm not even, I'm not using this in like in like a gamer Twitch meme meme or way. I think I have autism. Obviously. It's not been professionally diagnosed, but I would not be surprised if I had autism to some degree. Now, I remember I remember during uh, the bug grind, I had guildies that were like, "Oh man, like this is so boring. This shit's so boring. Oh man, like I hate this. This is so boring." And dude, I loved it. Like I I fucking loved I loved farming carapaces. It was so satisfying. Like, like super uh, monotonous grinds like that in World of Warcraft. I love them. I, I fucking loved every every single second of, of, of like that week or 10 days. I loved it, dude. Bug brain, a condition that befalls all those who enter Silithus with the intent of farming fragments. You'll know you have bug brain when you start seeing carapace fragments where you shouldn't be seeing them. You start hearing bugs. SSTV Jack. Oh, here we go. We, I knew, I knew it. It's only because you got the mount. Dude, we spent the first three days. Okay, if 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 you have been around a while and you're not a little jealous ass pussy bitch, you'll know the history of how this unfolded. I wasn't even supposed to get Scarab Lord. We were planning on only getting one of them. 
for Craig. We had a vote in the guild, and I actually opted out. I said, Craig, you're going to get first Scarab Lord. You're, and probably the only Scarab Lord. Because we, like, I had never done Scarab Lord before. So I didn't know how long it was going to take. We didn't know if there were going to be dynamic respawns or if grinding was going to be really hard or really easy. I had never done it before. And so we said, oh, okay, Craig, we're going to try to get one. We're going to get it for you. And so we got Craig's done in like two and a half or three days. And it was a 10 day long war effort, right? And so we were like, hey, we're done in three days. And this was really easy. And it's pro it's, like, it's funny because as time went on, it got easier and easier to farm carapaces because more people quit and got tired of farming them. So like, still this got uh, easier and easier to maneuver in as time went on. So we're like, hey, you know, this is Craig's. Every day our rate of farming carapaces is increasing. We're farming more carapaces per hour, per day. One, we're getting better at it. Two, people are kind of leaving the crater. It's less comp it's less competitive. And so we got Craig's and then we got mine and then we actually got a third also. So, hey, dickhead, okay? Hey, over 66% of the time farming carapaces, it wasn't even for me. I wasn't even planning on getting it, dickhead. Much love from Dumbass. Germany, less than All right, 30. I'm going to play this. Good morning. With their mandibles, the howl of the wind as it rolls through the caves. And what day is it? I'm hearing bugs in real Don't life. Don't sleep. In here. Just keep farming, Don't Frank. Sleep. What the fuck is a I miss Frank? type in general chat. I'm severely sleep deprived. And you see him. Snake men. He is a reflection of you. His values are your values. And, and that's comforting. Praise him. Praise Farm him. Farm bugs. Praise, Praise him. him. Farm Praise him. bugs. However, after deciphering several general chant messages, it seems that during these hours, Hive Zora went on to become a volatile rat kingdom with no consistent faction balance. Pretty much no man's land. If you were a small guild attempting a scarab lord or just a business person trying to sell bug killing services, Hive Zora was probably your best bet. As for Hive Ashi, well, that's Alliance territory and that's all the data I have because I was killing bugs. In fact, we were able to farm for so long uninterrupted in Hybrigal during these hours that we fully farmed not one, but two Scarab Lords worth of reputation, which looking back at it now was the peak of our farming efficiency. I don't know if it was because people hadn't burned out yet or the fact that we had uncontested free farm for 24 hours or the fact that we just had so many people, but we were harvesting fragments at an unbelievable pace. It yeah. was during these hours that I also fast. managed to complete my personal task of gaining 200 fragments solo just to see how long hypothetically it would take for me to farm Scarab Lord myself. And so just before I went to bed, for the first time in three days, by the way, I went to hand them in. But before that, Ooh, displate metallic posters for your walls. With wow. over 1.4 million designs ranging from gaming, anime, movies to nature, you're bound to find something you like in a size that suits the space you have to work with. It turns out a lot of artists I follow on Twitter have stores on displate, which made my selection rather easy. How could I not go for Dreamwalker's incredible Warcraft vistas? Wow. Oh, these beautiful pastel wave cityscapes by Allura. Dude, Installation Google. takes literally 20 seconds seconds you just stick it to the wall with magnets it's so easy a paladin player could do it well, warning browsing this website will absolutely make you want to purchase display so make Who the in the dead server. will they increase the gold transfer cap uh i doubt it they haven't talked about it I, I don't know why they would i doubt it man i appreciate the sub though yeah no they haven't said anything about I'm sure that, you're man. either a content creator capable of using your clout to decorate your Thank apartment you. for free or using my discount link in the description which if you use will get you 30 percent off your first two displays or 37 percent off if you get three or more wow i'm currently smelting my thorium that i have been getting from rich thorium veins now that, that is I have crazy been <laughs> sneaking from other people yo barney fuck off <laughs> i got prepped uh, dude i gotta get those arcane crystals um and i'm about to go to bed uh i've been awake for too long but before i go to bed i'm gonna hand in these 200 fragments probably probably my only 200 fragments i've actually farmed like 800 fragments but i i only kept like one in four reminder to progress past this part i would have to hand in enough fragments to fill this bar and then yep. two more handing in these fragments will give me 200 rep what? that was i'm going to bed and go to bed i did oh, wherein i caught a delicious like, six hours of sleep like it's not that bad okay if like all you have to do is have just like 80 people farming 24 hours a day to help you do it for like three days straight, and it's not that bad. Before. 
more work. Now, of course, some of you might be thinking, wait, you're still farming bugs, but why? Why? You've pretty much seen for yourself that Scarab Lord isn't gonna happen. Why, why are you still torturing yourself? And to that I say, I made a promise, a promise I intend to keep, that I would live up to the mantle of the best Horde content creator and make something truly epic on this event. And do you really think that this is a good ending? Right here, right now? I didn't think so. We still have Scarab Lords to farm. We still have quests to help with, and I'll be damned. This guy here? Scarab Lords to farm. He? We still have- This guy here? Was the biggest motherfucker of all time. Oh my fucking god. Yo, we actually- We actually griefed some other guild like six hours on this boss. We griefed- Who was that? Oh, it was Quint. Oh, it was Quint. Remember- Oh, remember Quint on Fairly- Yeah, dude. Oh, they were so fucking mad. Yo, like we griefed- the fuck out of these guys. Quest to help with, and I'll be like damned if the hours. last three days were for nothing. I don't go back on my word. I promised you the good content, and I'm gonna fucking deliver. Cause that's my ninja way. And so that's why I- Dude, I, I, I totally forgot this. I gotta shout this out. So, the way that boss works is if someone dies while in combat with the boss, the boss like gets one sort of growth stack and hits harder and has more HP and heals a little bit also. So if you have people dying on that boss, Holy fuck, so it's super easy to grief, like if another guild you don't like is killing that boss, you just run up and die, and it makes their attempt on killing the boss significantly harder, okay? So on Ferlina, when I was doing that, this was actually uh, for my quest, this was when I was doing my Scarab Lord quest. We're out there, it's like fucking 3 in the morning, we're trying to do this at, at like low hours when no one's online, we're just trying to not get griefed, right? And so we're out there, it's like 3 in the morning, and the boss is at like 30% HP, okay? Everything's fine. I look to my right. 40 level 1 characters. 40 level 1 orcs have logged in. They all log in at once. And they're being multi-boxed. And they're running into the boss. And I'm watching them slowly run over. They're probably like 40 yards away. I watch them log in. They're running over. And I'm looking at the boss HP. I'm looking at the, at the fucking level orcs. It's like 30% HP, 25% HP... The orcs are getting a little bit closer. I throw a fucking thorium nade. I thorium nade. It kills all of them. It lands, hits all 40 of them, kills all of them, and we kill the fucking boss. They didn't even fucking connect. They didn't do even fucking connect. That shit was... F Yo, Emph. Like, Emph was... Dude, that shit was fucking sick, man. I was... Dude, that was... Oh, fuck, man. I did that off stream. I did it off stream because, like, if you're if you're streaming uh, that corruptor boss, y y y like y you're you're fucked. You you cannot stream that because it's so griefable. Like you actually can like no one streams that. But man, oh, dude, that was fucking sick, dude. I, after ass. only six hours of sleep, reawoke and logged right back onto World of Warcraft. However, this was not the Silithus I had left behind. In my absence, the largest alliance guild, Goof, whom what we pushed fuck? out of Hyvregal some 30 Goofy. hours ago, had reclaimed hey, the entire West on. Hive in a similar fashion raid, leaving final boss with the South Hive and the surface surrounding. And as you probably already guessed, the East Hive fell to the rats. God damn fucking rats. Goof, knowing that it would probably take the entirety of final boss to clear them out, had in this moment made a very clever play. We can't go and fight them because that would leave our hive open to the rats. They can't come and fight us because that would leave their hive open to the rats. Ah, so we have a stalemate, right? <laughs> Just smile and hey, thanks. Thank you. No. Unfortunately, all the people with PvP sense were at this time asleep, and so those that were left decided, fuck it, let's just fight anyway. Remember how I said both hives would be left open to the rats if this occurred? Well, that's exactly what fucking happened. Wow, I can't believe it. Luckily, some strategic masterminds were able to log in before me and negotiate a ceasefire. And I guess part of that ceasefire agreement was that our best PvP rogue Kim Possible would be taken hostage by the enemy? This is literally what I logged in to see. Roleplay? From the two sweatiest guilds on the server? Yep. Huh? This is how you know bug brain is a real thing. Hours passed and it was clear that the easy free farming of yore was over. The war between Goof and Final Boss had definitely been a huge blunder for both sides. Alas, this was the new reality. A reality of slow farm and rats. So many rats, so many bugs, so many rats. And if things couldn't get worse, I then heard that one noise no one wants to hear in World of Warcraft. There was an enemy rogue in the cave. So now- Dude. Nothing was more satisfying. Like, oh, dude, man, like.
bad. It was so satisfying to like like you would go and crash someone else's bug spot or like they would crash your spot. And like as you're waiting there, like the bugs have like a five or six minute respawn timer. So when you're sitting there trying to out tag someone, you're sitting there for like five minutes just next to this person who is trying to grief you. And, or you're trying to grief them. And so you just sit there and you shit talk for like five minutes straight and then the spawn happens. And there is no better feeling than sitting there shit talking for like six minutes with this guy and like, yo, he's, he's shit talking. And then, and then you get the tag. Like after six minutes of just nonstop shit talk, the bug spawns, you got the fucking tag. You're like, yeah, suck on that dick fucking loser. And then it happens again. You get it again. And then it just leaves. Oh man, that, like that's some fucking gamer dominance, man. Now I had to worry about this fucking rat called, literally, literally called rat bag in front of me stealing my tags. And I also had to be worried about the unknown assassin who was definitely gonna jump me at low health for that easy honor kill. But then there came so many occasions over the next hour where I was definitely low enough to just be a free kill, but I didn't get killed. The scenario made no sense. The rogue was still here. I just saw him. Uh, he wasn't doing anything. This puzzle weighed heavily on my mental, so much so that I ended up losing my first tag to Ratbag in about an hour. Or did I? Your eyes do not deceive you. The gnome rogue ran straight through me to get to Ratbag, uh, the only person not in final boss in this cave, by the way, and uh, unalived him. And I mean, am I gonna really get involved? This is, uh, this is a pretty good scenario for me. But hold on a second. I know that name. That rogue is in goof. What the fuck is going on? On. So here's what the fuck was going on. The reason Goof wanted to take Kim Possible, the best PvP rogue we have to offer hostage, was because they could then put Kim Possible to work in their hives, killing their rats. I love this game. And Kim had done such a fucking good job, as is to be expected, that they felt obligated to return the favor by sending rogues into our hives to clear out our rats. But now that I knew what was going on, I wasn't going to let Kim have all the fun. I tailed Romrek back to the deepest recesses of the Goof hive and scanned for any target not wearing the Goof troop guild tag, rat located. I then waited Killing. for them to do rat stuff where I intervened and did <clears throat> rogue stuff. And of course, Goof let me kill them with no retaliation. So I did what I do best and camped them till they logged off. The rat exterminator exchange program had formed. <laughs> I and others would periodically cruise through Goof Hive to make sure it was nice and goof and unalive any non-goofers that were found. And on the flip side, whenever it was obvious a rat was overstaying their welcome in the final boss. So let me, let me like add some context here. This happened on By the time the Scarab Lord grind was over, I was in probably 15 different Discord servers for alliances we had for like 12 hours. Then someone backstabbed and we broke them. And then a new alliance and we broke it. Then a new alliance and we broke it. Like there was one server we were allied with this guild. And then like the alliance crumbled. And then like six days later, we were using the same Discord server because we struck up a new alliance even after backstabbing each other. It was just like a circle, a nonstop circle of betrayal and backstabbing. It was, it was, it was I would walk great. into the goof it, hive and beckon someone to come my way. They would then follow me back to the final boss hive and camp every rat until they either spirit revived or, in the case of this warlock Frywood, logged off. I do have to give Frywood props though, out of every rat across this entire event, they were the most persistent and the most annoying to deal with. They had me on ignore since the moment they showed up here and they griefed my tags for like a week straight. Almost like they were trying to get in the video or something, so fuck you, I'm not showing any of it. As the days flew by and we ticked off more and more Scarab Lords, it's seemed we had finally created the perfect farming ecosystem. We had wow. the South Hive, Goof had the West Hive, we shared the surface, and rats were heavily deterred from <clears throat> disrupting this, knowing exactly who would be waiting on the other end to camp them. And in hindsight, it seemed so obvious. We should have just been doing this from the start. After all, Final Boss and Goof have the same goal. We both just want to get as many Scarab Lords as possible. And we're both the largest, most try-hard guilds of our respective factions. This, this this only just makes sense. But this allegiance would never have formed if not for a stupid bit of roleplay at like 4am, and this is why I will never not play on roleplay servers. This just wouldn't have happened. A silly little roleplay wherein they took our best PvP a hostage started events that would soon turn into the greatest farming efficiency module we had had since we controlled all of Regal. Sure, we weren't farming as many fragments per hour, but they were safe, easy, rat-free fragments farmed alongside gamers who are striving for the same goal as you. Absurd numbers of scams. Lords. What we lost in fragments per hour, we made up in morale and team spirit. And honestly, I really believe that if it wasn't for Goof, people in Final Boss probably would have burned out way sooner. But of course, Hyvregal is- Someone was telling me 
you can s guess how much, and you should not RMT, how much do you think a Scarab Lord classic WoW character sells for right now? If you were to go and try to buy a Scarab Lord account in classic, what's the value? What's the value? 16k? I was told like two months ago, someone said stay safe, it's worth 9k. I was told 9k two months ago. I didn't, I didn't do a price check. I have no fucking idea, but that's what I was... It's fucking insane. That's fucking crazy. There's a secluded corner of Silithus. What happens in Hyvregal stays in Hyvregal. And so for those looking in, they didn't see the events that led up to this allegiance. They didn't see the war. They didn't see the role play. They didn't see this collaborative effort as something to praise. All they saw was collusion. Cross-faction oh, collusion mad. evidence collection thread. The rats were pissed. They mad. Hello, Lord. The past few days, I've been collecting and editing mad. down evidence to set Fucking mad bitch. ...to Blizzard regarding this recent Little final bitch. boss slash mastermind Ooh. slash goof troop collusion. Mad. Now with Obsidian mad. Council, it looks like. Feel free to add any evidence to the collection. I'm still mad. going through video, and I reckon the more evidence slash emails, the better. This just ends up making the game worse, so hopefully we can do something to push back against it. And attached to the thread was just a bunch of clips slash screenshots of random rats just getting owned and being surprised <laughs> they couldn't walk in as a solo player and just free farm in high regal. So Suffice to say, we didn't get banned, Mad. shockingly. But it just goes to show how badly Bug Brain was affecting some players. For them, it was tough to see that the fact of the matter was Final Boss and Goof had just realized fighting each other at this point was a waste of time. And the best course of action to achieve the goal of farming as many Scarab Lords as possible was to just keep each other happy. This was a destined fate. It could have gone no other way. And the proof of this is that this Horde X Alliance large guild team up was being mirrored across plenty of other servers. More importantly, mm. however, this was also being mirrored in the fucking law taking place in this event That's right true. now. That's the Horde true. and the Alliance are canonically teaming up to Storm and Courage. D did you miss that? Very this true. is peak World of Warcraft. Dude, but I as the bug brain virus well, spread, the you. collusion Thank statements you. began to increase in ridiculousness. For example, collusion on an RP server should be grounds for immediate- Like, I I'm gonna tell you, just, just from a gameplay point of view, because for the first, uh, like, maybe two days of grinding Scarab Lord on Ferlina, there was no collusion. People were not colluding. There, we had two layers on Ferlina. There was pretty much a Horde layer and an Alliance layer. Because the PvP was like, it was, the first two days were really laggy. It was fucking unbearable. It was really rough. And people just wanted to try to farm and finish their, their like, first Scarab Lord per guild. And so, the Horde had a layer, and the Alliance had a layer. And there was still a little bit of PvP, but people sort of segregated themselves that way. And then, so what that resulted in was the first two days of grinding Scarab Lord, like, I'm on the Alliance layer, farming uh, Hive Regal, for example, and there's other Alliance players that are trying to steal my tags, and I'm trying to steal their tags, and we're just, like, there's no recourse. Like, we're both sitting there spamming our fucking tag macros, and it's it was just, like, from a gameplay point of view, boring as fuck and just unfun. And then it was like day three, you're like, yo, like, why don't we just, like, we have some friends in the Horde, or like, we have Horde alts or whatever. Why don't we just come kill this fucking guy? Like, this guy's trying to, like, this guy's trying to tag our bugs. Like, let's just get on the Horde and fucking own, own his ass. It was the second that we started colluding and using Horde alts and stuff like that. Like, that's when the game got fun. I'm not, I'm not talking like the ethics of colluding. Who gives a fuck? It's a video game. Who fucking cares? But from a fun point of view, like, the, 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 the when, when the collusion started, that's when PvP actually got really, really fun. Because you would have, like, this coalition of Alliance and Horde guilds, and they're colluding, and they're sending around five-man PvP hit squads to clear out hives. And then there's another Alliance Horde coalition over here at this hive, and they have their own PvP hit squads running around PvPing. And so you would have, like... This whole dynamic of like hit squads running around defending hives, attacking hives, it, it, and there was the politics involved. Keep it up. Colluding Thumbs actually up. made this shit like a million percent more fun. Master Puffy, good morning. Thank you, dude. Hit removal, which is just good morning. Good morning. You're playing on an RP server. How do you think this occurs, if not for collusion between factions? Lol. True. Was me not killing Kumin collusion? Hi, welcome to Did You Know, idiot. The Horde and the Alliance learning to put aside their differences to work together for a common goal has only been like the main plot point for like every single fucking WoW expansion since I don't know, like Warcraft even existed. Only together, united against the shadow. Will you be able to save this world from the flame? You and I sure. stood side by side on the slopes of Mount Hyjal. 
Do you do you think that they um <clears throat> did they is that in the lore? Did they did they actually though? Like like I, I'm asking in the lore, did they, or are you guys just speculating? They did. Oh, anal only. Anal doesn't count. When I was in high school, I had a friend named Josh. And Josh was super crazy fucking Mormon, okay? Josh was like Mormon as fuck, this guy, okay? And he had his Mormon girlfriend. I forget. His name is Sarah. I think her name was Sarah. It was Josh and Sarah. These motherfuckers, they were so Mormon, it was crazy. Like, they wore the underpants and all that shit. Okay. And they were like 14 or 15. And this is when kids start wanting to fuck each other, right? And they couldn't do it. Because if you uh, have vaginal sex before you're married, boom, God don't like that shit. Like, God's not going to be happy. Jesus is not going to like that shit. And so Josh had a crazy idea. He said, yo, Sarah, I'm just going to fuck you in the ass. And Sarah's like, yeah, I guess. It doesn't say anything about getting fucked in the ass in the Book of Mormon. And so, dude, they, they were ass fucking all through high school. And then they got married and it worked out. And as far as I know, God's still cool with them. Like, I don't think God did anything bad to those guys. And I think they have some kids now, too. So, uh, obviously, if they have kids, they moved on to the whole vagina thing. Because I don't think you can get, I don't think you can get ass pregnant. And uh, it, it's, it's a perfect love story. Yeah, everything worked out. That yeah. world tree did not fall. Yeah. Because the Horde good. and the Alliance worked together. Cross-faction collusion. <laughs> Consider yourself reported, you dirty colluders. Now I am cherry picking. Uh, it is worth noting that these rats were definitely in the minority of people, but they were a very fucking loud minority. So loud, in fact, that sitting President Donald Trump was forced to make a statement to combat the oh, fake shit. news regarding the collusion. Someone commissioned this and put it in my guild discord. I had to use it. This is for the WoW Classic server. Grabulous. Grabulous, okay? You need to know that the Goof Troop, Goof Troop, did not collude with the final boss. Okay, there was dude. zero collusion. He looks like Fat Mitos. <laughs> That's who said that. That's actually true. <laughs> he actually does. <laughs> they are innocent, okay? He does. Everything being said is fake news, fake news. All charges dropped. Did you hear that? All charges dropped. With a full Drop pardon him. from the President of the United States, Goof and Final Boss continued to work together towards securing Grobulus's legacy. Together, we were going to farm as many Scarab Lords as possible before the gates Dude, I remember... Oh, dude, I was... Like, this was on stream. I was so fucking worried. When it came time to... Boom, to, to fucking uh, bang that fucking thing. I got the mallet. I, I farmed. I did all the quests. It was time to get some fucking Scareblord mounts. Boom. So I, it was like the, the gates were going to open. And this is time when if you did the Scareblord quest chain, you got that fucking mallet. You go up there. You bang that thing. You do the quest. Boom. And then you get that mount. And then you get the mount. What happened was... It was super fucking laggy. There's 10 trillion people out here. The entire fucking server is here. I banged this gong. And the quest completed. And the mallet disappeared. The mallet was out of my bag. And the quest was gone. The quest was completed. It said quest complete. I didn't get that mount. And I sat, I stood there for like two fucking minutes. Uh, it, it, it took two minutes for the server lag to catch up for the mount to appear in my bag, dude. I was like, I was fucking sweating. I was freaking out, dude. Would open, but time was running out. As guilds began finishing up their bug farming and moving on to the next part of this cursed Ooh. quest. Don't ruin his moment, you idiot. <laughs> they would naturally turn their focus towards completing the war effort. After all, they want to go and open Anchorage and raid it. It's like the whole point of this event. At this point in the timeline, it's August 8th, 2020, a very special date. There is currently only one scepter bearer, Typo, but that's all about to change. For if I were to jump forward one day, four other people obtained their scepters overnight. I was there, and it was quite something, Ooh. but we'll get to that later. Because that's not why August 8th was special, no. For that, we need to turn our attention to the war effort data between August 8th and August 9th. August 8th and August 9th. 
Did you see it? That's an awful lot of peace bloom handed in on the Horde side, don't you think? 25,380 peace bloom to be One exact. Well, that's because August 8th was a very special day. The day what of day? the peace bloom DKP. Huh? Dawnbreaker, Peace Bloom DKP. Dawnbreaker invites all Grobulans to its first Molten Core PDKP. Buy gear with Peace Bloom. Wow. Wow. Time. Discord. See you soon. Farm Peace Bloom. Thanks, Heavy Hoof. I will. And I did, because this post was made like a week before now, and when you're sitting in a cave farming bugs for days on end, there's a lot of downtime. A lot of downtime to alt tab onto your secret <laughs> alt no one knows about and pick Ooh. Peace Bloom completely anonymously in Duratar. That's a lot of peace. Why well, do who in phase five is going to a molten core GDKP and then who even like what are you gonna do buy a fucking <laughs> druid tier one <laughs> buy some druid tier one shoulders <laughs> who's buying that shit <laughs> and who has peace bloom to spend anyway bloom but the real flowers were the friends I made along the way now you might be wondering wait don't you want to prevent the war effort from being completed after all once it completes there are only five days until the gates open and then you can't farm scarab lords anymore and yes you are right but the numbers peace bloom is pretty damn easy to come by so you know those bids are going to get absolutely Fucking crazy, crazy. Oh my, crazy. Oh my god. And if it's one thing gamers like seeing, it's big fucking numbers. And when else am I gonna get the chance to see someone buy a mage blade with flowers? I have no choice but to go. However, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not going to be bidding on any items myself. Corehound tooth? Perdition's blade? Uh, no thanks. I'm good with my incredibly suboptimal double gut gore ripper. Yes, wow. I have distracting dagger in the bank, and no, I'm not going to use it because even with this handicap, I'm literally a worldwide all star, and you're all fucking. Damn. Cringe. But wait, then why are you farming Peace Bloom for the Peace Bloom DKP if you're not going to bid on items with your Peace Bloom and the Peace Bloom DKP? Come on, guys, you know the answer to that. Chaos. After this Molten Core, I'm gonna run through the logs and check to see who are the absolute worst players. And then I'm gonna give them all my fucking Peace Bloom. I think the true spirit of the war effort is to give everything that's, that's you have good. for a greater that's cause. Funny. And what could be a greater cause than gearing up some guy who's gonna quit before Naxxramas? Now this is like the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but for people with shitty fucking DPS. Like, this is the bad DPS fucking Make-A-Wish Foundation. That's content. Welcome to Molten Core. Hope you like the uh, entrance, by the way. <laughs> now, as explained last episode, a GDKP is a raid wherein the loot is bid on with gold at the end, and then everyone receives an even split of that gold. With these base rules in mind, and knowing that the objective of this raid is to get as much peace bloom as possible for the war effort, one can reasonably assume that there is going to be no peace bloom cut at the end of this raid, since it's all going to be handed in. However, there was one more slight quirk to this GDKP that, in hindsight, I can't help but feel should have been on the advertisement. Instead, this quirk was nestled deep inside a Discord channel chat that most people had only just now started gaining access to. Now, because of the events you're about to see, I no longer have access to the Discord, so you're gonna have to put up with my MS Paint recreation. Within this room, in this Discord, was a okay. list of every piece of Molten Core gear. Yep. Each piece of gear had a number assigned to it, and that number indicated the flat price. Like a base price for bidding, right? <laughs> If you wanted gear from this GDKP, you would first pay that flat price, and then you would, wait for it, slash roll on the gear along with everyone else who wants to buy a roll? Does this sound like a GDKP to you? No? What the hell is this? Why would no. they call it a GDKP if you can't even bid on gear? This actually is just a free roll pug with extra steps, and there's a reason free roll pugs don't exist anymore, and that's because they are shit. But there you have it. I had joined the world's first GDKP with no bidding allowed. It was clear many people were expecting this GDKP to be run, for use of a better word, properly. Am I reading this uh, item sheet correctly? There's no bidding? Wait. <laughs> I thought this was a DKP. So so someone was gonna have to speak to the manager. Once we had zoned into the instance and we were all inside the same voice chat, I decided that someone was going to have to be me. If this is to get like the maximum amount of peace bloom as possible for the war effort, how come we're not bidding? Surely it would make more sense to let people just bid? Cause that's what like, a DKP is. My argument? Irrefutable. My social capital? Extensive. My intellect? Unmatched. Okay. The facts and logic were aligned for a perfect KO. But the response I got might surprise you. Or it might not. I think we all know how this one ends. If there's peace bloom in the end, you can still turn that in. 
Yeah, you're not planning on turning it in anyway? Uh, no, I wasn't. I don't think most people here were planning on doing that. I think most people were here to buy gear with Peace Bloom and then just auction okay. house what they didn't use. I think expecting fresh level 60 casuals to care about your war effort above okay. their own gold income is fucking insane. Especially when, let's just keep it real, most of these players are not going to clear AQ40. In fact, I think it's a safe bet to say that 50% of these players will probably never even walk into the instance portal. But as for me, my Peace Bloom, Dude, Zeno, I would rather thank just you. delete it. And that's what I told them. Yeah, you're not planning on turning it in anyway? Delete that huh? shit, fuck the whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would I would sooner delete it than not fuck get the anything in return. You, man. Whoa! With the Game Awards in full effect, it seemed I had upset the host with my that. humble suggestion to run this DKP properly. And the host had evidently not caught on yet to the fact that a lot of people in this raid were feeling pretty pissed off and misled. I recognized some of these names in the raid. I had seen them on my farming alt. They had spent days picking Peace Bloom alongside me, or against Ooh. me, I guess. So I knew they definitely had at least as much as me. Naturally, they didn't want to let their farm be for nothing and so they started bargaining what if you pay double can you get an additional roll that's a good idea. And that was a good idea. If people could pay double their roll fee each time they wanted to re-roll, things would at least be more interesting. It still wouldn't be a DKP, but at least it wouldn't be whatever this is. And it wouldn't fuck over the poor noobs who have spent seven days picking flowers. For God's sake, won't someone think of the noobs? With too many people asking too many questions, Heavy Hoof was out of options. He was about to explain why there was no bidding, why any idea that involved acquiring more Peace Bloom would be thrown out immediately. And that reason was... I didn't really want to deal with the logistics of having to deal with bits that go up to the ten thousands. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. What? Like? Like? What? Like? What? 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 Like? Yeah. Okay. So, so. I, th I, 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 th I, th I think he's European. Like I, th I, th I think I, here's the thing. I think that guy is European. I th I th I think I think I think that's I think that's it. Isn't that like the point? I, I was think, I wrong? I, think I don't think so. But I do see where Heavy Hoof was coming from. I wouldn't want to deal with the logistics of trading several thousand Peace Bloom either. But that's why I'm not running a fucking Peace Bloom DKP. Am I, am I making sense here? Or? I don't host Super Bowl parties either. Wanna know why? Because I don't like football. Also, I don't own a fucking TV. So don't you think it would be a bit shit of me to then host one anyway? And then when people show up to my Super Bowl party and start asking where the game is, I turn around and say, Super Bowl party? This is a superb owl party. You read my invitation wrong. Nice and then when no one buys that, I come clean and say, okay, guys, I know there's no TV, but think about this from my perspective, okay? I don't want to deal with the logistics of having to get a television. Come on, man. Yeah, but sure, you can agree that it's misleading to say this is a DKP when you're missing the entire point of a DKP, right? Yeah, I don't want to discuss this right no, the point was to get people to fucking farm Peace Bloom yeah. and then turn it in. So if you want to go turn it in, go turn it in. We're going to raid MC and then have fun. So if you don't like it, get the fuck out. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You good? No, we're Everything good, dude. Crazy. You're just making this shit take longer. Bro, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Right? Okay, but one more question. Do you guys think Heavy Hoof is acting sus? If you don't like it, feel free to leave. If I leave, will you answer the question? It's a stupid okay. fucking question. <laughs> I don't think so. Perfect! Well, we did. We all do. Alright, let's pull. These vibes were fucking rancid. So terrible, in fact, that given the choice between experiencing my first change of scenery in two weeks and farming bugs, I pick the bugs. Get me the fuck out of here. You! Flame! Um, Hi. Hold on. One sec. Yo, Barney! How was the Peace Bloom GDKP, dude? Not good, you guys. Not good. The Peace Bloom DKP had been a resounding disappointment. In an alternate timeline, it was probably a really fun raid with sick loot. Alas, we are here in the timeline where the people who stayed lament to me in real time how shit the raid is. I would be lying to you if I told you that the entire situation- Like, here's the thing, if you're operating a GDKP, whether or not people are posting, uh, like this number, or this number, doesn't matter, because all you have to know is that that number is bigger than this number. That's all you have to know to lead a GDKP. You have to know which number is bigger than a another number. It sounds complicated? Uh, it is, it is, it is. 
Griffin had low key pissed me off because my ire was far from low key. Two weeks of farming bugs had left my mental on its last thread, and this molten core experience had just burned it to ash. I was about to it's go a, from Barney a complex logistics, yeah. to Barney Gatekeeper. <clears throat> In October of 2019, you asked me how I make my gold, and I gave you my honest answer. Ooh. And you all laughed at me. Funny little salesman selling his funny little lucky charms. How cute, but also stupid. Role players are so fucking stupid, aren't they? Sean Imagine some random dipshit just comes up to you and wants to trade you a white item that does nothing. And then you tell him, I don't want it. And he's like, no, you do want it. And he just keeps fucking insisting. Yeah, I, I can only imagine how annoying that would be. This is the beekeeper fortune. Depending on who you ask, this is either blood money acquired through the peddling of useless items, or the life savings of an idiot commodifying forces above his understanding. I personally think my overexposure to dragons is to blame because more and more I find myself compulsed to hoard gold. With each month I seem to double my charm output with no end in sight, but I digress. Up until now I had remained a passive player in the war effort, but no more. I was going to use every single piece of gold I had to delay that gate from opening for as long He's as gonna... I possibly could. Oh. Starting, of course, with the Peace Bloom Market, which I swiftly bought out in its entirety. Gaze in awe as I deal with the logistics of trading several thousand Peace Bloom to my bank alt. Mm, He's a logistic god. Trash. Yes, I could post this all back on the auction house for an easy profit, but I don't want anyone handing in anything. This isn't money to turn into more money. This is money to burn. Hey! No one wants her useless fucking bullshit white item that does nothing. No. Fuck off. Oh. He's... No. I don't want... No. I don't want that. Oh, I'm gonna play the... You know what? I want it. You can give it to me. Give it to me. I, I want it. I changed my mind. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I do want that. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that. Give it to me. Fucking loser. I'm gonna delete that. Fucking loser. I'm playing this. And so I went down the uh, wall. You got another list, one? Draining each and oh every resource God. from the auction house until it was drier than my bones. One thing you should know about me by now is I don't really half ass anything. Which is why I then took a flight path straight to Gadget Sand to clean out the neutral auction house as well. As I pulled Ooh. up alongside a gnome mage and made my search for linen bandages, the current hot item, I found a bunch of listings for one copper each. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. As I started to buy them, I found that someone else was buying them at the same time as me, so I instead started from the bottom and worked my way up. Is he actually... Click, 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 click. He's click, click, click. Click, 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 go oh god. It was at this point that I got a whisper. Those are for the Alliance, dude. Stop buying them. Hmm. 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 Was the gnome next to me buying these auctions from a horde player? Hmm. 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 Sounds like collusion to me. I'd have to double my purchasing speeds lest our pure if only there was a way. full victim to yet more game-breaking If only there was a- Question mark? I responded. The linen cloths you just bought for one copper a stack are for the Alliance war effort. Okay, cool. They can buy them from me for a higher price then. This of course was a lie. I obviously wasn't planning on reselling anything, but I said this because I knew it would piss him off. Fuck you. I tried to respond, but they put me on ignore. They then went and cried about it on the Grobulus Discord stating, Shout out to Barney B from Final Boss for buying the bandages and raising the price on them. 100. To which Roxy, whom we might meet later, said, Lol, at Barney B. And tagged me, UJ, world buff fanatic, king of the colluders, and rat royalty, then responds, Yeah, don't blind sell any items. I can hook you up with some contacts. The colluding warlock then says, I was coordinating <laughs> it. Oh, when you guys do it, it's coordinating, I see. The ally I was selling them to was right there buying them as I posted. Barney B just bought fast. 
stir. <laughs> and by faster I did. I cleaned out the neutral auction house of every single war effort material, but somehow I still wasn't sated. There was only one thing left to do. As I started on my flight to Thunderbluff to camp the Horde auction house, I alt tabbed to my guild discord. At everyone. From now until the conclusion of the war effort, I will be reimbursing all war effort material purchases with 5% interest. Please screenshot your TSM ledger purchase history and proof that you vended or deleted the- Wait. He- What the fuck? So I was like, maybe he didn't know about TSM. But then he's telling them to send him a screenshot of their TSM ledger. And then he's over here triple clicking auctions. What items the to receive fuck? payment. Ideally, I'd like people stationed at both neutral and horde auction houses 24 7, so if you have as much time as I have money to burn, please do your part for our most noble goal and stop this war effort! However, word travels fast. Faster than a wind rider, it seems, because when I showed up to Thunderbluff to do my thing, I was swiftly assassinated by two rogues. It was clear I personally was not safe to show my face near any auction houses ever again, but that mattered not. I already had my little busy bees out doing the beekeeper's bidding so I could get back to Silithus to farm bugs. bugs. And then my computer crashed because my hard drive had failed. The hard drive containing every single piece of footage I recorded for this event thus far. Now inaccessible. Corrupted. All gone. My roommate and I troubleshooted for hours on end as we tried to get the data off the hard drive, but nothing worked. We were left with just one option, which was to send the hard drive off for data recovery, which costs thousands of dollars and might not even yield any results. But I didn't have thousands of dollars to spend on data recovery anyway, so I was fucked. This was a one-hit kill to my morale. It had all been for nothing, and I wasn't just done with Scarab Lord. I was done with World of Warcraft. I picked up my phone and opened Discord to let my GM know I was quitting, but he had already messaged me first a link to the Scarab Lord list. It had been updated. My selfless dedication to the cause had not gone unnoticed. And given that final boss runs on a merit-based system, the Scarab Lord target list had undergone some renovations. I was now no longer number 18 on the list. I had been bumped up quite a few places to number 11. Whoa. Holy shit, this might actually be doable. I glanced down at my computer, inside of which lay a rotting, inaccessible hard drive. I may have lost everything that came before, but I can still show you how this finishes. I plugged in a three terabyte external hard drive and re-downloaded World of Warcraft. Whoa. Because I made a promise. Holy shit. <clears throat> I mean, okay, this all happened like eight months ago. We probably already know whether or not he got Scarab Lord. I don't know. Don't tell me. Do not, please, don't tell me. I want to wait for part three to know if, uh, if he got it. I don't know.